so once again we're in the uh, still backwards they ain't figured it out yet um we shot a video late last night about repairing the door handle on my Geo, Geo Metro. Um, the super glue, <coughs> excuse me, and baking soda. And hold on. So, uh, we had an internal structural failure on this guy right here, but super glue and baking soda did the job. <coughs> While I was installing <clears throat> reinstalling the uh, the handle goes to the key and the other one goes to the handle alright but I I'm an experienced mechanic in uh, Chevrolet dealerships I've worked in Peterbilt dealerships I worked uh, I've my father was an electrical engineer <laughs> and, and and he taught me the value of sneaking up on something okay so the key rod there was no adjustment involved in it and so I just popped that in the handle has a uh, a threaded is just the length of it and any adjustment like that you have to back up and realize that you're going to have to mess with it okay and especially on something like this okay if you screw up this good enough you'll have to get a cutting torch out um and they've got that got me thinking about mechanical logic modules um, and in that okay the door latch itself which is about here okay has the key lock hooked to it it has the door handle look locked to it it has the interior lock hooked to it. It has the interior door handle hooked to it. And then it also has the actual locking function. So there's five things that this mechanical box has to respond to, okay? It has, it it's a mechanical logic module, okay? Most people, you know, computer guys, they logic, you know, zero ones and all that, yeah, yeah. This is a physical logic module. And when I installed this, before I went and closed the door, I took a screwdriver and physically made the latch work and found out I had a problem. Okay, and then with simple RON logic, okay, the only adjustment I had messed with was this one right here. Okay, so we went there and we made an adjustment and eventually everything worked, okay? So, and that's, that's what little bit I can tell you, okay? Be, uh, kids today they have no concept of how mechanical things work um 
they have a big concept of how a computer works. And the thing is, is if you can wrap your head around turning an, a simple idea into something physical, you'll be ahead. Okay? So anyway, uh, this is, I ain't got nobody showing up today. That's kind of disheartening. But anyway, and, and at the same time, we all have lives. We all have lives, and I understand that. So, um, we finished with the, uh, the super glue and uh, baking soda. And let's let's just kind of try and visualize that. Real quick. Come on. And probably the, the problem is everybody's having is that they're asleep because I, I was late last night. So, where is the camera here? There's the camera. Okay. So, um, she has some light on it. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, this rod right here. Okay, all that white material. Okay, all that white material on that lever and seatbelt is causing me issues here. Hold on. Oh. Hopefully, I haven't. Let's see, I think I can see. So, anyway, that white material is on that lever, and that lever is what broke. And now it's not broken anymore. So, all right, still here. Okay. So our next deal is uh, we have to reassemble the door, but then that door there has issues as well. And so, from what I can see on this door, okay, uh, that handle just flops around everywhere. And it's just this one screw that holds it in. Okay, I'm sure there, there's some clips and latches and stuff. But, the, you know, you, you slide it and you pop it. And then you put the screw in. Alright. Well, I'm figuring that the other side is broke right here. And so we're going to, we're probably going to do the super glue trick to that side as well. And uh, Paul Shardy's, hello, there you are. Uh, we're doing, woke up late. Uh, you're just showing up. I was just showing everybody we got the door latch fixed on the Geo. And uh, here, hold on. And actually, everybody is you so far. <laughs> so, anytime you got a door apart, you always keep the window down when you close it. Okay, but this is the part we repaired last night. With the super glue and uh, baking soda. And now uh, we're going to go to the other side. And the uh, problem is I've got you all powered up. No, I don't have you all powered up. Let me power you up here. And, uh... Oops, yep, boo-boo, that means I got power. Anyway, uh, let's see, here, hold on. Oh, need to do this, hold on. There, how's that? Yeah, we're gonna, I wanna try and get this guy done. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, here. Now I need to do this. Uh, anyway, we're gonna try and get this guy done before we go. We're going to run south. We're, uh, today is Thursday, so Friday and Saturday. And I'm going to try and be home. I'm, so I'm going to 
I'm going to get this done, run south tonight uh, to take care of Friday, hopefully go to the beach Sunday or Saturday, and then Saturday evening come on back. Anyway, uh, and I'm trying to figure, let's see, I, well, I'm just going to have to drag you all into the car, looks like. Um, how about your day, Paul? Do you feel honored in the presence of royalty? <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, Paul. Not royalty. Not royalty. But I do appreciate your uh, consideration there. Thank you. Um, and, and I guess I can show you something I was playing with last night. It was kind of dark. But, uh, dude, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And these little guys right here. I, if you can, let's see if you can, yeah, the, uh, that PVC situation, that's, uh, solar powered, oh, and we've got some issues here, hold on, the damn battery's pointed the wrong way, No, but those lights, uh, here, you can probably see, it. yeah. So anyway, uh, right there, here, hold on. Yeah, these guys right here, it's just, uh, it's like a $30 item at low. And um, it comes with, with three LED lights and one solar panel. And uh, anyway, last night at three o'clock in the freaking morning, with the solar panel not adjusted properly because it fell over and I, I actually anyway it was still lit at three o'clock in the morning uh let's see all right last day in second grade awesome there paul and uh no this is not my property i rent it but the price is right it's uh it's it's quiet um i'm on the dirt part of the road so there's not much traffic and uh i like it it's quiet okay that's the best way i can put it you know i i get my weekends rubbing elbows with the world and then i got this place to this is my little um fortress of solitude so so anyway um we need to get you all in the car because I, I, I'm going to have to disassemble that other side before. Well, actually, no. Tell you what, let's reassemble this side because now I know what holds that side together. And then I'll uh, we'll do that. Um, yeah, it's very quiet, Paul. Very quiet. I just name, well, let's see. I got one neighbor. To that direction um, his bedroom is 80 yards from here probably and then I got somebody directly out the back directly behind the camera and their their entire house is a good hard away and then uh, yeah it's quiet I like it quiet This thing's been disassembled for about a week now. Probably, I don't know, two. Where, where the hell did we go last week? I gotta come up with this blue. And this thing is gonna be. Okay. How are we gonna do this? 
Yeah. My father always taught when you disassemble, you assemble something with the understanding that you will probably be the next guy to disassemble it. And I want to maintain this paper there. So it looks like we're going with good old duct tape. product and I probably have this roll four years, maybe five. The thing is the natural products are pretty good. Oh, this is tough as hell. Yeah, I know. One plastic piece right here that we need to pull out of the door and reinstall in the panel. <coughs> and Paul, I know you do this but uh, I just want to for folks that show up later that aren't familiar with duct tape and you know believe it or not there are a lot okay it's it's just a tape product but this is a fabric that's impregnated with adhesive and the, and the plastic coating on the back and the easiest way to tear this is to take your fingernail Put your fingernail right where you want it to tear and then shear it. Okay, now see it's not tore all the way, but once the tearing starts and it's a nice straight tear. So anyway. And we'll just go with that. Now the thing is is I could have probably you know, I, if this was a 100% restoration and, and this vapor barrier was something I wanted to salvage, I could get crazy and get some and, and mask it off and use some spray adhesive. Um, but we're not there. So the duct tape will do what we need to do. You know, primarily, once we get the, the panel on, all these intersecting holes will hold that vapor barrier up if the duct tape fails. We're really just trying to hold it while we reassemble it. read some of the books about you know a thousand and one things to do with duct tape I actually find that kind of stuff entertaining <laughs> all right so you know we got to deal with these seat belts because the seat belts come through uh, the door panel and I have no idea where this goes oh wait, there it goes right there all right, I can see it now. Be my luck. I'll have to take that loose before I uh, 
put the tan on it. Okay, and uh, in an earlier video, I showed you the trick about the uh, door handle, uh, uh, the 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 window regulator. Okay, this 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 little clip right here, this simple little piece of metal, is what holds it in. Okay, and you simply put a rag behind it. And eventually it'll it'll catch these little tangs right here and pull that clip loose and they make a special tool and the problem is this is only the fifth or sixth time in my entire life I've had to do this and so certain special tools unless you work in, in an interior shop or or something where you use that tool every day sometimes they're not worth buying and and I've yet to actually buy the tool for these guys. So A lot of times these, these panels, they, they, they have multiple pieces in them as well. And it looks like I'm, I'm missing a bunch of clips in the bottom. And I'm not going to go buy a bunch. And that one that's loose is one of the ones that's in the bottom. That's never been an issue. So I don't think I'm going to worry about it too hard. Okay, so see we've got, uh, and it, when, when I first bought the car, this piece, this black, was actually in the trunk, and it's, at the factory it's stapled, okay, and what I actually did, I used safety wire rather than staples, because I didn't have the proper staples. Screws holding things in that pocket in, and then you've got these little armrest in, and so you know there's a lot of engineering sitting right here. Oh, listen, listen, hold on. Is it? Is it? It's a P51. Oh, good Lord, Jack Roush is out flying his P-51 over my house. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I understand if you pay Jack Roush for the fuel, he will take you for a ride every once in a while. But I don't know him personally. That upsets me. I would have liked to have gone for a ride now. All right, so. All right. There's, you see all this flexation, I mean, you all, you all can't come here, hold on, let's, let's make this better, hold on, okay, here, get you up here, alright, so, uh, uh, seat belt, seat belt is all tangled up in this door panel, okay, this one comes out the bottom here, so it's, it's pretty, but this one right here, we have to we have to route through a couple of pieces, and every time I do this, I really get I get a little concerned. Look at that, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take this. Okay, now if you noticed uh, before, here, hold on, damn it. We've got, uh, and the thing is, I, yeah, please, I'm, I'm not trying to consider everybody dummies, but there are a lot of folks that don't realize this. All right, these little plastic parts, that little pin, that little pin, this little pin, and then some more, and then there's some should be across the bottom. These are what hold this panel in, and so, 
So on top of getting the seatbelt through, you have to line all that crap up. And then they they just pop into the holes. Okay, so. And then what you do is you, uh, you're going to get close, and then also this black piece has a lip that it slides into. holes on the outside that'll give you kind of, kind of a clue that you close. You can put your finger back there for a minute, find that. Pop that in. Pop that in. Pop that in. There. Okay, and that's See this right here? That ain't right. That ain't right at all. Yeah. What that was is I got lazy. When in doubt, look at the other side. Yep. And door panels, believe it or not, door panels, these things right here are the bane of, of my existence. I do not like them. There we go. Okay. Simply because there is so much. There's so much stuff in here that you've got to go through to get to what you're looking for. And you're still just not. That seat belt has never worked right. I mean, it it don't retract right. It'll it'll hold me in. I'm, I feel confident of that. All right. So yeah, I always want to make sure. What it is is I don't want to I don't want to clip it on yet because then I have to or do it no I don't want to clip it on I'm trying to adjust it yeah. whenever the window is up all the way you want to make sure 
the, the way that I handle. And, and don't get me wrong, this handle is light. But I always like to put that handle right there. At this, this is the direction that it goes to take the window up. So when the wind is up, position handle so that what little weight is here, we'll try to keep it up. Okay. So put this back in. Window work is even worse than door lock work. Got two screws hold this in. Well, I hope uh, Sean has a fantastic summer. I know when I was a kid, summers were just awesome. Okay, please make sure he goes outside. Okay, don't let him spend his whole summer watching the damn playing the video game. Yeah, I had a I had a whole neighborhood and I was blessed with a 12 acre acre lake out behind mom and dad's house and in that lake I think is where I, I really acquired my love of wildlife and such um, So the door repair is done. Uh, we'll go the window down one more time and just double check and make sure that all the repairs, that everything functions. You always, with these doors, you always, you cannot trust a damn door. I don't trust them. That's really, uh, I get in, in these new rental cars we use uh, for the race team. And they've got all these child safety locks and uh, these automatic openers and all this stuff. And if the door, if, I, if, if when I touch a door, it don't do what I want to, it just drives me insane. Because I instantly, instantly feel trapped. Okay, if I grab a damn handle and I go to open the door and there's a motor trying to open it for me slower than I want to open that door, that drives me insane. Okay, alright, so this door is done. going to do is for convenience because gravity does a good job of holding this open we're going to go ahead and turn the car around
you what, I'm going to take a little break just for a minute. Phone. All we got with us now, I can't. Oh, and by the way, uh, I have caught myself. <laughs> I spent an hour, an hour today, just checking out last night's video. Um, all the comments and stuff, just just to make sure everybody was doing all right. Uh, let's hear. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Wayne Bird, hello. Paula Shardes and Sean, hello. Ted, hello. Devin, what's going on? There's my brother. Hello. Uh, Deb, no, no, no. I finally got some time off and I'm trying to get some stuff done. We're going to try and run south this evening. Um, and seeing as Robert's here, Robert, I want to try and get your pickup truck running tomorrow. Oh. Um, Ollie, hello. Uh, Wayne Bird, hello. Uh, Deb two actually I elaborated on the repair the uh, the the uh, super glue uh, baking soda repair and then I uh, we went ahead and did final assembly on the door although it I I went ahead and assembled I put the latch in before j just and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to tell you to rewatch when once we get done here. Uh, yeah, the door panel. Yep, 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 yep. Seatbelt. Uh, all right, Holly's going shopping. All right, Wing Bird. All right. Uh, uh, Deb two. I never ordered a new part. We've been, we've been, yeah, begging so to work good. Uh, Brent Fletcher, we're still working on the geo. Uh, summer swim lessons, swim team, baseball, tennis, 4-H camp, riding lessons. Good Lord. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're almost back in business. We're going to, uh, we're going to Daytona tonight, probably. Uh, all right, Aaron, I apologize. Uh, maybe the fact that we we're both live caused that. I don't know. Um, Holly's back looks like, yeah, the, the fixed worked, or at least so far it's worked. All right. Okay. Ten four. So uh, we're gonna just take this little breather here for a minute. Seeing as we got that door assembled on the other side, and now what we're gonna do is disassemble this side. And the only problem this side has is that this piece, this remote is broke. Okay. And 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 I'm. I've gotten some confidence with the super glue and uh, bacon soda, and so that's that's where we're going with that. You just give me a minute to get in the mood. Hmm. And Debbie, I tried to show you the toolbox last night, but the damn phone won't let me go that deep in there. So at some point we'll probably pull some stuff out.
now that I think about it, the station is missing for this one. Wow, look at that. I forgot I had that. Yeah, that's right. I guess the glove box is a good place for a flashlight, so I'm going to put that back. The excuse was missing. parts. Let's see if we got one. And actually I've got a that remote is completely and totally destroyed. Okay, that that is it. Okay, so we've got the escutcheon. I guess escutcheon might, might not be the proper word. I don't know. Uh, trim piece would be a simple generic. Um, I do know that the trim pieces around a, a windshield wiper shaft are called an escutcheon. So that's what I'm going to call this. Alright, so we got a spare escutcheon. See stuff flopping around in here. I got some hardware, I got some all sorts of Yeah. That's not good. But I saw something flopping around here. Okay. So this is the passenger side. But look at this. It's broke in the same spot. Identical. Absolutely identical. Okay. A couple screws, screws. A couple screws. Wonder what these are all about. Oh, wait a minute. There's a couple of different screws. Hold on. Or are they? Okay, so. Two, I think I'm looking for. Okay. Right. Put all this crap back in this bag. Gasket for the station. This is the gasket for the station. Uh huh. Okay. So now I got that piece. All right. All right. So there. No, I'm so sure there's. there's a, oh, I ain't gonna worry about that screw. We'll just. Right, after all that digging, we got a new station.
All right, did my brother happen to respond? Basket is is a is a no. You ain't you ain't no. Okay. Hard straight. in London. That's why you call them Jesus clips. They go, hey Jesus. I'm not exactly sure what the hell that, that's about. I'll just take it out. There's nothing back there. Something just broke. Actually, 
these pieces just fell out. Okay, those pieces just fell out on the ground. They're probably pieces for what I'm trying to deal with up here. So we're gonna hold on to them. And I mean, they're just, they're just little slivers. But they might tell a story. So we're gonna hold on to them. This guy is just shattered. Okay, but we got enough pieces we can rebuild. Kind of like Steve Ross. So, so the two rods that work in here, one, one hooks to this, one hooks to this, okay, but the plastic broke right here. So, here we go again. I'm all over the cord here. Alright, so, get y'all down here this piece and where is the camera why is the camera over there today oh I've got this thing upside down okay uh, that's my right hand that's my left hand that's still backwards okay all right anyway so this right here is where this guy lives. 
and we got a and there's really not much room for the super glue and um, baking soda trick because the trick the the screw actually there is there's plenty of room for that so but there's no way to lay this flat so we're gonna have to uh, do the initial all right where to put my super glue Where's the camera again? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, so that might be an option. Okay, hold on. Okay. Here, let me see something here. Yeah, y'all, all right, I just flipped the phone over. But now the camera, besides being on the other side, is also at a lower position. Okay. So, so y'all should be able to, maybe, hopefully. Although, uh, let's see. If you're elevated, you always, well, if, you, if you're up in a tree, you can see more than if you're down on the ground. Let's do this. And I'm just gonna have to remember y'all are higher. Okay. Although I can't bend you down, I'll have to move you back a little bit. Okay, so. We're just going to go with the super glue to begin with to get the initial positioning sorted out. Okay, so we're going to just lay us. Yep, just going to lay us bead right there. Poke that together like that. And damn it, I got into a rush. Yeah, I got into a rush because I wanted to have my baking soda out and handy. Alright, there we go, fingers sticking together. <coughs> come on, come on, give me some out here. Because I don't want to just dump it on there, I want to sprinkle it on there. Okay, so you can see the actual crack that was repaired that the that we've the actual breaking spot. And so we've we've attached this with super glue and the stuff that squeezed out we applied some uh baking soda to it i still ain't quite figured out in my head how this works but 
I do know from experience last night that we can apply a bead of the mixture to add structure okay to 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 put material there and and help it not break again so that's what we're going to do right now and initially I'm just going to put a bead of glue along the crack and then I'm going to add some baking soda Give her a couple seconds, we'll wait. Brush. And that stuff is hard and dry. That's amazing. Okay, now, so that's that. Now the thing on this side is that I've, I've got the head of the screw I have to be concerned with. I don't want, I want the head of the screw to pinch this flat. I don't want it to 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 pull down on the bead, so we're not going to we're not going to do the whole bead. We're just going to do the areas that's not going to be under the screw. Okay, and I'm starting to think that the reaction that we're doing isn't so much the baking soda filling the super glue like an aggregate and concrete. I'm really thinking that the baking soda actually triggers a crystallizing process much like uh, if y'all have seen the guys that they'll, they'll pull a bottle of water out of the freezer and it's not froze but they'll thump it and then the crystals grow in the ice I think that's probably what we're doing here with the with the baking soda and the super glue Okay, now, that being said and done, all right, this bead, okay, this, this part of the damn uh, part actually lays flat on the sheet metal, so I'm going to have to flatten that bead out, but what I'm going to do is beside, you know, the, 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 we, uh, the crack runs this way, I'm actually going to build some structure this way on these two ends and actually I can't do much better than that so I'll just put one little gusset across here spread that out a little bit spread the load make it uh, yeah kinda like like a gusset and a bridge or a joint
So initially we'll just take this guy. need to knock some of this I'm just trying to clearance this bead a little bit See if it fits. You gotta get both of them, both of them started before you finish this one. Uh, what were you? Big old B-52 just to put in my face. Source of the mother broken parts. Awesome. Well, no mistakes, only happy accidents. So there's a, there's a little nub right here, or a little slot. 
and there should be some material right here. Guess where those materials are? The little, little pieces of debris that fell out. What's it going to take to make this work? Because it's going to end up being a very fine slot when we're done. Really? table. So, there, there. Okay, so, There's a piece of metal in there that this engages a slot, but these pieces cover that, and so you slide it in that slot, and then that keeps the yeah. So anyway, now we're gonna sit here and play with that for a minute. Three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle here. So we'll look at the brakes specifically first. That the fan was rubbing on the table. Y'all might have heard that. It was shaking the table. Yeah, we got a. Of course, now these might be the remnants of a previous failure, as well. So sometimes you got to watch out for crap like that. Got a nice 90 degree area that's not broke right there. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Okay, all right. So this goes right there. I think. Yep. Okay, that goes right there. And then this. Alright, there's a nice 90. Yep, there we go. That ends up like that. Okay, so this has been broken for quite a while because the one. Here, hold on, let's see if I can do this without. There. Okay, so. That is what we got to end up rebuilding. Okay, we've got pieces, and and that's what it's. It's not going to look like that when we're done, cause cause, but, all right. But you see, yeah. Okay, so, so, the fact that I've got them things stuck there like that. All right. Whoops. And my crazy glue, I left my crazy glue open. Right. All right. So let's, let's make some room. We'll be moving around here a little bit. All right. And the thing is, is they have to be done in an order because one lays over the other. 
and so what we'll do is we'll we'll assemble it with the super glue exclusively and then I think I'm just going to build the back up with the super glue and the uh, bacon soda and I need to turn the fan because I don't want a face full of bacon soda okay so let me get me some pliers to clean it for was a pair of tweezers but I ain't got none I'm, I've, I've got eight pairs of them but they're spread out all over the place somewhere so we're gonna use these instead maybe there right, so that one goes in that position yeah now I'm done screwed up this one we got to get stuck in that position okay so maybe we'll do this instead no okay all right we're gonna have to finger we're gonna have to use our fingers here so I'm gonna go with this this first. Like that. And in this position here. Oh, no, I done screwed up, man. Yep, this guy. This guy. right there mm -hmm. right like that okay just put a little bit of this on there and I'm hoping that's triggering that crystallization that I was talking about okay let's see how the the super glue seam is the only thing that's white there okay so I'm gonna start off with that and I'm gonna take this damn thing and please understand I, I I'm bad about crap like this because if I can spend an hour patching this up and just get the job done so I don't have to mess with it anymore I'm willing to do that getting in the car and going to AutoZone and ordering a part or or whatever just ordering a part from anywhere and having to wait for the damn part you know just because it's a little broke piece of plastic drives me insane spot but but given what this all this does it ain't gonna be it's not a precision it's, it's not the ring gap on a on a compression ring on a piston so let me get this all coordinated again where the hell is it gonna be it's gonna be 
like this. Okay, so. Okay, so <laughs> Okay, so We've got those parts back in position. Okay, now given the fact that the, this thing's been broke for two years, some of some of it's got some wear, and so we're, we're really not. We just want them like in there, and uh, this is full of damn super glue. That's not gonna be good. Alright, but now what we're going to do and because it's such a small situation we're going to give it some structure with the super glue. Okay, so see right now see right now it's just all we've done is is, is put the cracks back together. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some material around here and back here a little bit to actually help support these things so that we don't have to ooh what come here come here come here come here come here give me Batman he don't know what he's used to you coming over there yeah <laughs> come here come here look who's here it's the Batman you ever done the uh, super glue and baking soda trick? Mm -mm. What's that thing? Uh, <laughs> it's doing it's some like amazing. Some lines. It's doing some amazing shit here. Hey, Batman, how you doing? No, all the damn plastic parts that are breaking in this car. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, watch this here. Okay, so you take the super glue and wave it, everybody. Dwayne's here. We ain't come to visit. Okay, I've already... This thing is broken in three pieces. And actually four. But all you do... you And, and now what I'm doing is I'm going to try and build a little bit of structure up on this thing. So that it don't break again. But you put the super glue on it. And then you... You put well, some... What's the baking soda supposed to do? Well, hold on. Hold on and I'll show you. And it's not even, it's already dry. Okay. But it, 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 it it's stiffer, it, it, it's, it's rock hard. Okay, so anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm, where this thing broke, I'm putting some of this up in it. And, and I'm pretty sure the baking soda, what the baking soda is doing is, is actually making the super glue crystallize into a solid. Before it, you know, runs down and gets all thin and shit. Never heard of. It. Yeah, well, I, 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 I was doing, I tried doing some repair with JB Weld uh, earlier in the week, and was not having any good results. But the JB Weld I had was about three years old too. So, okay, so. So that's a gusset for the back of that. Now I'm going to I'm going to go across it. And then will you clean it up with a blade? File, file, blade, whatever you got.
But this actually makes a structure. Mm -hmm. You know, you it actually, actually it actually makes some material. You actually put one in, yeah. Huh? Yeah. The, well, here this, the this door handle over here. And there again, you know, it, it was old JB Well, so I'm not, I'm not condemning it. But I, I looked at it as a an opportunity to do some experimentation. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go feed little man. All right. And I'm probably going to head to Daytona tonight. Are you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. weekend off. Huh? Off. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and visit family. What's wrong with that? Well, so. Yeah, I know. I know. I I I changed my mind. I got something I want to do while I'm down there. Tonight. All right, so anyway, there's that. Stick her in there and see if it'll fit at least. All right, so this piece that we just rebuilt slot clogged with damn super glue. And there's a little clearance issue. Okay. Uh, hold on. Where'd that screw go? Knock some off of this. And we're gonna dig some out of this. Yeah, that's good. Still.
material. material that I put on is definitely in the way. Now, unfortunately, I want as much of that as I can to stay, so we can't get too too aggressive because I want I want I want that material to, to help support all this shit that fails, you know. Now I'm gonna put rods on. I'm gonna say that's close enough. But now we gotta get our rods back in. Put my little screw stick though. Came out of there once, so I'm going to go yeah, yeah. Looks like you ought to go in there. Hmm. 
feels different. Anti-social piece. That's just Ain't nothing happy looking about that, you know? Let's see what it does. It does look happy. No. Oh. Damn seat belt. Hold on. Let me get all excited here. There we go. Walking around, but that's just what it does. Damn piece of it's all plastic. Okay, so the wind is down. Let's make sure everything works. Always make sure everything works before you do your final assembly. Unfortunately, I mean, how can I put it? When you build something that's supposed to get 50 miles to the gallon, you're going to end up with some questionable design compromises and this is one of them everything on this car has to be light in order to get that 50 mile per hour mile per gallon and the engineering oh man 
engineering on these door handles is horrible. To the point where I expect uh, if this happens again, I'll just have to build my own ship. And it will be all up in the realm of keep it simple. And a lot of y'all are probably sitting there wondering, Ron, don't you have any power tools? And I'm going to tell you something right now. There's certain things that need to be power tools. Okay? And there's certain things that I want to work every time I grab them. And this thing will work every time I grab it. Okay? An electric drill needs to be a power tool. Well, a drill needs to be a power tool. A screwdriver, if you're in a rush, if you're if you're in a production situation, yes. But I don't pick screwdrivers up eight hours a day. And I don't feel like having to wonder if they're charged or anything like that. A hand tool is a highly reliable piece of machinery. Alright, so the Geo's finished. Uh, let's scroll back here. Yep, there's Batman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Deb, you probably thought it was a snap ring plier. Okay. All right, well, y'all are talking about plugging into a box here. Hold on. Okay, you're all talking video games. All right. Smokey Bear, hello, good afternoon. Okay, so we're back to the snap ring pliers. I am the best NASCAR fan. T A H. Hello. Uh, oh, wait a minute. 
Is there any chance the best NASCAR fan TAH is Gage Man? Ah, Deb's on it. River T. Ah. Ooh, Deb's baking cake. Very good. Here's Batman. There's Batman. Yeah, Batman's a cute little son bitch. And Dwayne does not is not a truck driver. Uh, NASCAR fan T A H. Uh, he's a machinist. And Batman rarely barks. He he only barks when he absolutely has to. Uh, Deb, is, uh, I'll be honest with you, um, need to hit Mama up the next time she shows up, but it's really just kind of regular spaghetti, and you throw some celery in. Um, now, I got, I, it, I, what, where you throw it in, I, I don't know, but um, the celery takes on a different texture, and, and the flavor, uh, it, it it's really got a good flavor with you know mixed in with the spaghetti uh, summer gamer is probably the mid 80s maybe high 80s right now oh, it's gauge man I just just with the games he's playing it's gauge man Okay, um, uh, Gage, the, uh, that language you're talking about is called Pig Latin, or similar to Pig Latin. What was it? Uh, you took the first letter, you put it at the end of the word, and then you added A. Okay? It's like, uh, I used to know how to do it, but. But that's what you do. You take the first letter, put it at the end of the word, and then add an A. And you end up with like, Ouye, Aye, Aouye, Aye. But it, it's actually, once you get how to do it, it's pretty simple. And yes, the door works now. 10 4. Doug Contra, hello. All right, Trevor, enjoy your meal. And yes, no power tool task. <laughs> Geo yoga poses. <laughs> Sorry about <laughs> And Holly. <laughs> Yeah, 10 4 on that, Deb. <laughs> Zoom Zooby Dooby Talk. Never heard of such, but okay. Seventh grade. Robert Miller, hello. Oh, yeah, we, we actually. Now that we're done, we're, we're having fun. And thoroughly enjoyed getting it done, so I guess we were having fun. This is now uh, how long I've had the dam. It's the only one that's yellow. I think I actually bought it from somebody because he needed money to take the woman out on a date. Um, this one, which is a really nice, really nice, fine, long, standard screwdriver, uh, we got it at the Ace Hardware store. Um, years ago. This is an ancient piece. And then the proverbial exacto knife. Okay. And the it's essentially a razor blade that's mounted on the end of a pencil. And you can do real fine 
intricate work with an exacto knife. Okay, and then um, this is a a file that I used to flatten out uh, that material, and I actually got this at AutoZone about two years ago. I bought a set of them. Oop, big airplane. Hold on. Where is it? Maybe y'all can see it. Maybe not. Anyway, I'm almost under the flight path of Concord Airport. And every once in a while, the big airplanes go by. Alright, so uh, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to call it that. That's it for right now. I uh, got a couple other items I got to do inside the house. I ain't got no signal in there. And uh, and uh, what what time is it? What time is it? Help me out. What time is it? Um, I'll give you an estimate on the departure. All right. Oh, five o'clock. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's shoot for seven o'clock. I'll probably probably get the hell out of here yeah Deb yeah it's, it's quite it's it's even quieter down there the only thing you can hear down there is the refrigerator running so uh, anyway um we're gonna go ahead and end this one and uh, figure figure seven o'clock we'll throw another one up all right in three two one